Well, here's my uh, red Super Twin bike uh, that I actually built for a customer. It's all uh, 4130 chrome Molly frame. Frame only weighs 8 pounds, has a air tank right there for starting air. And uh, the little box in the back has got the 12-volt uh, battery and, and the spark box inside of it. Um, underneath the seat is where you uh, put the air into the tank through there. Actually, uh, the frame itself is part of the air tank. So you just plumb the, uh, uh, the frame and it, and it uh, goes through the frame and, and down. You see the, where it comes out of the frame and goes around and goes into the air, air tank there. Fuel pumps up under here. You got one on each side. Start one, it starts and idles, hit the second one, and then it uh, takes the full throttle. It's got a little adjustment right there. This is the starting uh, side, so you can back the fuel off a little bit for starting. Makes it start a little bit easier. Um, it's got a three-gallon tank on it, so it's like a five-minute run bike, uh, which may not sound like a lot, but when you've got two, uh, two jets on it, it eats quite a bit of fuel. They're 50-pound uh, thrust pulse jets each uh, put together, so around 100 pounds of thrust. Um, they don't run individually, they run as one engine because they're uh, joined in the middle. They've got a hole between them that uh, makes them run as one. Right there has got an electric solenoid coming straight out of the frame to take the air out of the frame into the engine. You push a button and it uh, opens the solenoid, shoots air into the engine. Fuel's coming down from the fuel bar up on top. Both the fuel pumps are just plumbed into the single bar. Uh, you turn one on, it gives you half uh, pressure. Turn the second one on, gives you full pressure, so that's how you, uh, that's how you throttle it. Fuel uh, comes down uh, from there, comes down to a bar in the center, and goes through the other side, comes out the other side, and then uh, goes up into injectors that are inside the engine. Um, to start it, you push on both those buttons at the same time, one spark, one's air, uh, and then uh, that shoots air into the engine and a spark. And only you have to do it for just a second, just until the engine starts, and then you let both those off. When you hit the spark and air, then you hit that first button right there that starts the first fuel pump and starts it up, and then, uh, then around the other side is a spring-loaded uh, trigger up underneath there. You hit that with your other finger while holding the other one, and that turns both pumps on, and then you take off. You can see on the different videos, you can hear the engine um, jumping from idle to full throttle. Um, anyway, this uh, the other black Super uh, Twin was a bicycle. It had a bicycle frame on it. This one, is uh, uh, I made the frame on it, and uh, I lengthened it 6 inches and lowered it 2 inches and raked it 3.5 inches, and uh, it really, really made a big difference in its top end. Uh, handling at top end, the uh, the black bike was, you know, uh, you know, it was fun. I went really fast, and, and but it was a little bit to hang on to, which uh, you know, that's neither good nor bad, I guess. <laughs> um, but uh, this one is just like hands off at at 60 or 70 miles an hour. Um, it's really, really a sweet bike. I wish it wasn't sending it out, but uh, but I can always make myself one. So. <laughs> So anyway, we uh, we had a great big black tank here, so needed to do something with it to break up the you know the big black flat areas. So I put the uh, the grid on the side, says Super Twin, just to uh, just to make it look a little neater. And the foot pegs down here bolt from one side to the other through, so uh, nice and sturdy. You can stomp on them and everything, and they're, they're not going to bend on you or anything like that. Uh, basically, it's a it's a bicycle. It's supposed to be a like a replica of a 1920s Indian board track racer. Um, well, I tell you what, it would be a blast to take this thing up on a on a bank track, 20 or 30 degrees. But anyway, that's uh, that's this bike. It's going in a box right now. I'm just uh, breaking it down a little bit to um, put it in a box and get it shipped off.